we're here uh, in Lafayette, Louisiana at 1111 St. John. Um, our story really began in Eunice at uh, Johnson's Grocery when my grandfather and his family opened up uh, the grocery store in 1937. Uh, they stayed in business until 2005 and we just missed so much of the smoked meat tradition so we opened up here in 2008. Um, they started making tasso and sausage and boudin back in the 1940s. Um, and so it's, they were very well known for their smoked meats. And uh, we just hope that what we do here can continue the tradition that they started back in the days. With this, we'll, uh, we'll go check out the smoker. All right, we'll go to the I have only one going right now. Uh, typically, we have one, you know, we use one at a time. Okay. We smoke something just about every day. Do y'all kind of end up on cycles of yeah, like, now exactly. we gotta do certain sauces. Certain things, yeah. certain things cool. certain quantities, mm -hmm. depending on the season. I'm sure y'all go through a lot of it. So here we have the, oh yeah, be careful. All right, so we've got sausage and tasso. Yeah, here. now the tasso's up on this little rack here. And these have been smoking right around six hours. Okay. How long do they usually smoke for? All six. Because, six, okay. Yeah. So they're, they're pretty much they're pretty done. They're pretty much done. All right. Yeah. It looks so good. Okay. So this is what it looks like before it goes into yeah, the Yeah, so this is uh, basically strips of uh, pork meat. What cut? Fairly lean. Oh. It's from the uh, picnic ham. Picnic okay. Roast. So it's fairly lean piece of meat. It's been brining in this uh, solution here, which has salt, red pepper, black pepper, and a little bit of curing salt. Okay. So for two days. So this is what it looks like before it's smoked. Okay. And then. Do you put anything on it? Once you take it out of the brine and put it into the smoker, it just goes yeah. as is. As is. And then this is a piece. That's delicious. That's after it's smoked. Yeah. So it loses a good bit of uh, water weight uh -huh. and dries up a good bit. Um, it's really good to cut it up and put it in red beans or gumbo or we make a, a sausage and tasso sauce piquant. I've heard, I think I've had that one before yeah. and it's very good. Oh, good, good. It's very good. Yeah. <laughs> hey y'all, Molly Farm from the Coop here. We're about to embark on a Tasso sandwich adventure around Acadiana. And I'm Julie Mo, and I'm going to take him to my favorite Tasso places. Uh, ready? <laughs> We're loading up champagne wings.
really tender. It looks amazing. Mm. What, are we, what do you think, Molly? I love it. It's very tender. It's delicious. Mm. <laughs> right. So, Jolie, what's our report on the Keeper's Tasha sandwich? I would say it's definitely one of the better Tasso sandwiches. You know what it's like though? It's different. You know, it's usually sliced. There's a solid. So it's almost like one of the best pork chop sandwiches you ever had. Yeah, it's like super tender and, yeah. but it's got that nice smoky Tasso Right, flavor. it's, it's a like great a combo chop. of a pork chop and a Tasso sandwich, really good. And very filling. It falls filling. apart, it's just like super tender. Oh no, you can tell it's already like, no, I like that they have it's kind of fatty too and it's not dry and it's really moist and you get Jack Miller's on it. We're getting Tazo sandwich and a Tazo po' boy. Stop, stop. Y'all's Tazo sandwich? No, not really. No, which is good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're trying the po' boy first. So it's almost, it's kind of like, almost like pulled, pulled pork style Tazo. Are they like stewed it in barbecue sauce maybe? Yeah, it's definitely like, you know, it's like the other one's like, but a really good pulled pork. A lot of, a lot of barbecue sauce flavor, for sure. It's really good. Um, this is the po' boy, and we got a sandwich as well, but it looks like it's kind of just different bread. It's the same thing, yeah, on same bread. Same bread. The Versus sauce, a, I don't think it really tastes like Kraft barbecue sauce. It's nothing. It kind of tastes like Jack Miller's. It does kind of taste like Jack Miller's. Mm -hmm. I say, though, I don't think I'm going to eat pulled pork sandwiches now. Yeah. It's so much better. It's got the smokiness, too. Mm-hmm. Over the taco. That's really good. I see why you get lots of napkins. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is really good. Hey, Seth. Hey, We're in Joey's in Lafayette. Uh, in town. My brother joined the journey. So had his first tasso sandwich. I'm ready for some doughies. There you go. like in the city version it's fancier it's a nicer bread it's not it's not really saucy it's good though but it's like it's like the high-end it's kind of spicy it's spicier i think mean, it's definitely like, spicier corned beef kind of yeah mm -hmm. and it's shaved that shape it's got lettuce and pickles on it and cheese and cheese, cheese. no jack miller's offer here mm -mm. it's a city the city tasso it sandwich. is a city tasso sandwich Fishing buckets. Yeah. <laughs> so where are we right now? Stelly's in Abbeville or near Abbeville. It's not really in it's Abbeville. It's like Forked Island. That's, that's sure. Yeah, that's true, Forked Island. But it's it's Abbeville on the maps. But it's not really in Abbeville. 
What is your name? Sandy. Sandy. And uh, does anything in particular make y'all's tasso sandwiches above the rest or it's special? Really nice. um, it's the way we prepare. And where's y'all's tasso from? Do y'all? Uh, Bodans. Bodans. Okay. Awesome. Cool. Mm -hmm. Well, can't it's wait. Amazing. Yeah. Can't wait. Can't wait to eat. Stelly's tasso sandwich. Mm. A little different. It's more kind of sliced tasso. We got barbecue sauce and mayo, dressed with barbecue sauce and mayo. What do we think about this one? I mean, this is Julie's favorite. It's my favorite. Because it tastes like tasso. It doesn't taste like pork steak. It doesn't taste like pulled pork. It tastes like tasso on a sandwich. It's spicy. Very spicy. Very spicy. What about yeah. out of control? They take the whole thing and then they slice it up. Texture. Yeah. yeah. And, and it's yeah. like a brisket sandwich. Yeah. yeah. Very satisfying. What do you think, Asa? It's your second tasso sandwich. It's the second tasso tasso one I've had. And uh, definitely the best one I've had. <laughs> I'm, I'm loving the texture of it. These big chunks. Not, oh, good. Yeah, like you, didn't, you weren't there for the first couple. They were different. They were yeah, good, but cool. this, is, this is good. They're all my friends. Yeah, winner. Mm, too good. I love it.